so hey guys uh, welcome back to my channel welcome back to learn in a nutshell so in the previous video uh, we you know uh, sent out a first mail using sendgrid and finally we had also added a new sender wherein we are not able to send it it's actually it took some time uh, after some time uh, we were able to send it we got a status code 202 so yeah that's about it uh, now what we will do is uh, we'll quickly see how to send out uh, a mail with a predefined template dynamic template which we'll be creating with sendgrid so for this what we'll be doing is we'll go to sendgrid portal uh, there's an option called email api under that you will see dynamic templates click on that and uh, you can create a new dynamic template let me name it as test3 click on create and if you um you know expand that one you will see a template id uh, this is required so whenever you are forwarding uh, you know to a particular template this is what it will look for this template id so that's required now let's go and create a new version for this so here there are two options you can create your own uh, email uh, design from scratch or you can select some predefined designs which they have so these are all the designs which they have um, so for this uh, I know tutorial or for this video I'll be I'll let me use um, which one I can use okay I'll use uh, this particular uh, template verification email template click on this there are two ways to edit this one uh, design editor or code editor let's choose uh, the design editor so this is how it looks um, now this is how the mail will uh, be going but we don't want uh, the same mail coming up every time so let's make it uh, specific to a certain person for that what we'll do is let's remove this Jane from here and uh, make it dynamic or parameterized so for this you need to pass so let's parameterize it uh, let's give uh, double curly braces and then you can give a field name like what you'll be passing from your code so i'll give it as name over here um, let me keep everything else as it is uh, it's not good go to change anything else let's keep it as it is and click on save and once it is saved you should see a tick mark you can go back uh, let's copy the template uh, once copied you should uh, you should also see your uh, you know the newly added um, template over here it's and it's, it's showing as untitled version if you want you can uh, name it uh, you know according to whatever is uh, requirement if it is version based you can give version over here and uh, once that is done you can go back to your code and let's not use this draft um, let's copy this and put it down let me comment this one for now and for this the draft is a little different so yeah the draft for this one is slightly different uh, there is from there is two but the names are a little different so so inside this you'll have to pass something called as from and that from is again an object on json here you'll have to provide the email the sender email can be given here i'll just copy it from here now Let me use my old email itself for this one and uh, 
let me go to the next one next is the place where you'll have to provide all the personalizations the two address also goes here I'm just worried about the spelling so it's an array actually so inside this array can pass the two address again two is also array if there are multiple people whom you want to, whom you want to send this you can send this uh, within this array so let me write down this in a new line so that it's not confusing so here you can pass email to whom you are sending it let me send it to myself and then send if you want to send a name along with that you can do that as well let me give it as learn in a nutshell so the two address is done if there are multiple one you can just you know clone this and add the different email address here as of now i'm not going to do that so next thing what you do is you need to pass the dynamic template um, datas data and here is the place where you need to pass the variables which you have created in the uh, dynamic template so i have created a variable called name there uh, let me give it as uh, let's keep a different sharuk khan so this is also done but the question is how will it know uh, which template to use so that template id which you copied you need to pass it here so the template id needs to go outside personalization you need to pass the template id here just provide template underscore id that's where it will identify which template to be used and you need to pass the template id if you don't have it handy go to that dynamic template and copy it from there so this is the id which goes within this uh, double quotes and um, okay this needs to be in double quotes that's what i missed so yeah that's done the draft is already passed to this send grid dot send hopefully it should pick up the template and send it to this email id over here uh, let's see if this works so it says status code 202 so it successfully sent now let's see if i have received it so here i have received thanks for signing up sharuk khan so that's working fine but here in the subject line it's not coming up hope you all know why so you need to configure that subject line as well you can go here and configure that as well so as of now it is something like this subject um, you can just try to change here and see if this works let's see quickly and uh, i can test it here also if you want to test it not done that previously let me use this successfully sent hopefully i should see name coming up but i don't see yet not sure if it takes time okay so maybe it takes some time or at least it should have sent out this curly bra bracket and name over there so maybe it takes some time let me try it again if not then it's taking some time 
to you know um, bring up that change so maybe we'll have to use a new version let's try to create a new version and see that so let me use the same thing let me give it as the name the that part has name itself because we don't want to make changes in the code and uh, name is done here so also let me do the change here name let me save this so the version which i created just need need that to be active so activated that one i hope so this is the one let's see so email is sent hopefully i should see this time sharuk khan coming up but i don't see it yet so the new version also is not working so let's what we'll do is um you can test it here or you can go to preview click on test data i mean uh, you can click on show test data and here you can provide the test data so the variable name what you have given can be provided here as well and uh, let's give sharuk khan if you see here on the right hand side uh, sharuk khan is coming here it's coming in the subject as well so probably it's uh, you know it's due to uh, the change which you have made which is taking time to propagate so let's quickly test now if that change has you know propagated yes now if you see the change has come up and you can see thanks for signing up sharuk khan so yeah that's about it that's how you work with templates and if you want you can give some version as well 1.1 or something like that or you can give some other name as well as per the requirement or as per the need you can provide the name there so that's about it guys hope you all learned something new over here in terms of uh, dynamic templates uh, let me know if it was useful in the comment section also if you have any doubts uh, you can ask it in the comment section And if you like the video please do the like button subscribe comment let's catch in the next video until then see you bye